Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Christy Ford. I am the account executive at Online Resources and your moderator for today. We would like to welcome everyone to the second 3D Lunchbox webinar, a comparative analysis of inspection software. And a special welcome back to those of you who joined us for the first webinar in this series on reverse engineering and quality control. Thank you all for taking a few minutes over your lunch to join us today. As a reminder, please turn on full screen mode for better viewing of the presentations. In addition, if you have any questions, go ahead and type them in as we go. We will answer those after the presentation. Let's jump right in. Here with us today are J.D. Schomburg. He is our Director of Business Development. He's been with the company for the past eight years and has been a part of 3D data collection for a total of 19 years. We also have with us Kate Jacobs. He is our Director of Engineering Services. Kate is our resident expert in reverse engineering and GD&T applications. He's been with us for the past five years and is a wealth of knowledge. I'm gonna turn the time over to JD for a quick overview of who we are and let him lead us into the inspection software analysis. JD. Great, thanks Christy. Um, so my name is JD Schomburg, I'm from Online Resources and we are a 30-year-old company founded in 1991. This week is actually our 30th anniversary. And we started our flagship product was CABCAM. And then in the late 90s, early 2000, we decided to get into 3D scanning technologies, 3D printing, and Creaform. Uh, we became a strategic partner at Creaform in 2006. So we've been working with them at that level uh, for just over 14 years. And then recently, we partnered with QPoint Robotics uh, to really bring all of our scanning systems into uh, the automated quality controller AQC market. And I can go over that a little bit more later on. So this is just a quick overview of some of our customers that you might rec recognize. Uh, we've worked with uh, many of these companies for years. And then digging into what we really want to go over today, we're going to be looking at the Creaform VX Inspect, Polyworks Inspector, and the Geomagic Control X softwares. And one of the things we found that's pretty difficult is, as a user, how do you really identify what the best software is without knowing anything of these softwares? So we've taken about 100 different bullet points and items um, and benefits in each software and broken them down into five, six, seven different functions or zones that we feel our customers most typically look at for software. So we have alignments, probing, scanning, gd and reporting, automation, or what would go into the AQC function or an internal automation capability in the software, and then flexibility. How well does this software play into our current process and uh, a growth process. Uh, and then we've totaled those at the bottom just to show you that really Polywork seems to be the powerhouse inspection software. And then the other two softwares really play a role um, depending on what you need as a customer. So hopefully in the 15 minutes, uh, you'll be able to see the uh, same program done in the three different softwares and help that identify what software might be best for your organization. Great, thank you, JD. Okay, so let's go ahead and bring in Cade here. He is our lead here at ORI. Um, he's going to share the pros on each software. We have asked him to share with you his experience with each of these softwares um, in their environment. All right, Cade, whenever you are ready. Hello everyone, this is Cade with Online Resources. Today we're going to be doing a quick comparative analysis of three inspection softwares that we carry here in our office. Uh, one of which is VX Inspect by Creaform. Uh, another is Polyworks by Inetmetric. And the third is Control X by 3D Systems. Uh, this is in no way intended to be an in-depth analysis of each software uh, individually. It's intended to be a very, very quick uh, demonstration of the software, how to create features, how to report 
um, and then I can give you uh, some of the benefits of each to help you uh, sort of understand uh, on a high level, which may be uh, useful for you in your daily work. So uh, let's go ahead and get started. On the screen here now uh, is VX Inspect by Creaform. Uh, this is an inspection module, not a standalone software. Uh, it's nested within the VX Elements software. Um, so it's great for those users who are already existing Creaform customers, uh, who use Creaform systems or who plan to use Creaform scanning systems in the future. Uh, it has excellent all around uh, analysis and GD&T capabilities, very in-depth. It can analyze complex data reference frames. Um, it can basically do whatever dimensioning you wish. Uh, it has a very clean UI um, and it uh, reports directly into Excel. Um, so it's very easy to sort of uh, at, you know, on, to take, take Excel and sort of do data dumps and things like that. So it'd be very useful. Let's go ahead and do um, a quick look at how to create some features and then uh, do a creative report. So um, on the left side of the screen, you see my tree. Uh, this is very standard for many inspection softwares. You have just a, a list of all the things that you've created, all the measurements that you're performing. Um, on the bottom, we have our control reviewer as well. And this is also very commonly seen in inspection softwares, giving you a list of all the geometry controls that you're outputting to the report. Let's create a new one here. I'm going to create a whole pattern uh, at this flange end of the part. Uh, we're going to do a snapshot and we're going to add that to our report. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to start by creating uh, four circles. Let me grab my circle tool here. And I'm going to constrain these circles on the data made plane. Uh, the alignment I want to extract these circles in is the surface best fit. Uh, I also want to specify these circles just by picking on the CAD model. Uh, these aren't going to be datum circles, so I'm going to leave the datum entity label blank. But what I will do is I'm going to rename these. So I'll just start by naming the first circle uh, entity in circle one. Okay. I'm also going to switch my measurement method to edges here. And I'll start picking these circles. So I'll come over here, grab my first circle. You can see that it gives you a readout of how close to fitting that circle is to the scan. Pretty nice. Uh, I will, however, remove this call out. I don't want to have any call outs in these circles individually. I'm going to create a pattern and then um, add a position call out to that pattern. I also don't want to output the X, Y, or Z location values of these circles, although we could. Um, I want to only output the uh, diameter. The diameter is going to be plus or minus quarter of a millimeter. So I'll take 2 pi here, negative 2 pi here. Okay, is it okay? My next circle is here. Notice that it's maintained all my settings for this next circle. Third circle. And fourth circle. All right, so I've created all my circles. I'll now create a pattern from those circles. So I'll select all my circles here, whole pattern. This again does not have a datum entity label. The entities I wanna adding some existing entities and add all the circles I just created. Okay. I'm going to remove this circularity call out because I do uh, only want a true position call out. We're going to do a true position of half a millimeter to datum reference frame ABC. So there's my pattern. So notice, after I've created these, uh, they've dropped them down into the uh, bottom of the workspace here. Uh, and in the bottom of the workspace in this control reviewer, um, 
this order is the order in which they will appear in our report. Um, so what I want to do is I want to uh, output the whole pattern and individual whole diameter measurements um, after I have an image in my report of those entities. So I'm going to add a snapshot really quickly. I'll first turn on these entity annotations here. Four, four, three, and okay. I'll go ahead and straight on this view here. And I'll take a snapshot. And I'll grab the snapshot and I'll put it above my holes. Uh, and my pattern. I'll also rename the snapshot. Let's go ahead and re rename this whole pattern. Snapshot. Great. Now let's take a look at our report. So I'll go ahead and click on my report and I'll export that. And I'll just call this the router body. And once the report has been output, see it here. So we first have three images of some color map views showing where we're deviating, some overall surface profile deviations. We have a snapshot of our data plane A and its flatness here, B and its flatness here, C and its flatness full location at the end of the datum C arm, full location at the exhaust end, and then we have our full pattern measurements here as well. Okay, so on to the next software. Okay, so in our next software, we're going to be taking a look at Polyworks by NF Metric. Uh, this is uh, basically kind of the industry standard for um, QC and inspection uh, using scan data. Uh, it interfaces well with any uh, scanning system, um, probing system, et cetera. Um, GDNT and analysis capabilities are second to none. Fantastic. Um, there's a wide variety of tools and measurement methods. Um, and yeah, it's just fantastic software all around. So let's go ahead and go through the, uh, the same process here of creating the whole location at the end of the flange. And we'll go ahead and report that and show you what that looks like. Uh, so let's begin by activating our CAD model here and creating some circles just like we did in uh, the X effect. Go ahead and switch over this to circle creation mode here. Let's grab some circles. Again, just like in VX inspect, we want to uh, we want to choose not to output um, the X, Y, Z or diameter values of these. We just want to create a whole pattern from them. Let's go ahead and with those circles selected, create a whole pattern here. I'll go ahead and rename this pattern. Thing. And again, we'll go ahead and deactivate the diameter X, Y, and Z values, but we will add a true position call-out. So we're going to half millimeter, data reference frame A, B, e, and C. And let's go ahead and extract the measured instances. And test it.
So with that created, I'll go ahead and make sure the uh, view here is on. And is this blog gets aligned just like we did with the uh, the last here? And you know what? I think I think actually in the last one we did do some diameters. Go ahead and add those quarter millimeter here. Okay, fantastic. And we will go ahead and output this report. So I'm going to create a page in the report. Take a look what this report looks like. So again, just like VX Inspect, we have a few pages here that show just some overall deviations. Data May plane and its flatness. Data plane B and its flatness, or excuse me, perpendicularity. Data plane C and uh, its perpendicularity. Full location at the end of the arm here. Full location at the exhaust end. And then we have the intake end full pattern and all of its. Great, on to the next software. Okay, so this is uh, Geomagic Control X by 3D Systems. Uh, this is a great software, um, entry level, user friendly software for um, deviation analysis, color maps, and also has some uh, GDT and dimension capabilities. Um, so let's go ahead and do a quick uh, pull pattern here at the end of this. Blanche, just like we did with the last example. So I'm going to go ahead and start by creating some circles. Circle one. Two. Circle three. Circle four. All right. And we'll go ahead and do our position call out. Uh, it's a little bit different in that you don't create your pattern first. You actually have to create your pattern in the position call out. So I'll go ahead and create a position call out here. Okay. And that's tolerance to half a millimeter. Uh, data reference frame A, B. C, and I make sure to check the pattern box here. So it grabs the remaining circles. Uh, just it, it goes out and looks and finds the circles that it thinks you want for the pattern. Oops, let's go. Okay. Uh, also, I need to add the uh, diameter columns in these as well. So we'll go into my radial dimension. Put us a radial dimension on each of these. Four millimeter. Quarter millimeter. Radial dimension. Quarter millimeter. Radial dimension. Quarter of a millimeter here. You'll notice the creation of these is a little bit different inside of um, Control X. Um, circles have the controls built into them in VX Inspect and uh, Polyworks, and you'd have to activate them and deactivate them as you wish. But this one, you just go in and you actually add the dimension to each of them um, that you want to see. Um, so with that, I'll go ahead and generate a report. So I'm going to go ahead in my report manager and take a look. So again, just like the last, we have a few views of some overall deviations. Datum plane A and its flatness here. Datum plane B and its perpendicularity. Datum plane C and its perpendicularity. Then we have our whole pattern here. 
So some diameters and our position. Okay, so uh, in closing, all three softwares are really great. Um, they can both do basically what each other can do. Um, some are recommended for um, deeper, more complex GD&T, um, while others are recommended for um, sort of lighter usage, surface deviations, uh, quick um, analysis. Um, all of them are user-friendly, all of them are capable. And uh, if you have any uh, other questions on any of these, feel free to reach out to us directly. Um, thank you very much. All right. Thank you, Kay. Those were great points on each software and how they will fit into your individual needs. Um, that is our showcase for today. We would love to hear what questions um, you might have about the software and how that technology might benefit you and your environment. Go ahead and type those in now while you do to give you a few minutes. JD is going to provide you with a recap and a review. JD. Great. Thanks, Christy, and thank you, Kate. Um, so hopefully that was a good example of the benefits of each software. Um, I'm going to jump into a little bit different here. I uh, wanted to just show you again the automated quality control systems as you guys are creating some questions. Um, we really have uh, two different kinds of systems. One would be an inline system, which is checking 100% of the parts and is fully automated. So the parts are placed and removed uh, with a pass-fail uh, reading on the software and uh, also pulled, uh, placed into the holding fixture and removed from the holding fixture by the robots themselves. <laughs> the other kind of system is a nearline or offline inspection system. And this is really going to be in your QC lab with like a cobot system where you're manually putting the parts onto the calibration plate or table and you're creating the robotic path, saving it in a file system, and then you'll be able to pull that up and run the uh, robotic program as needed for future parts. So that is a uh, proprietary systems, and uh, we're pretty excited about that. If you didn't get to see the uh, quick comparison chart, uh, I'll just review that real quick. Um, Again, we just had some basic functions that we see as kind of highlights for our customers and what they think is important. And we've ranked each software from one to five on how well those softwares deal with each of those systems. So, um, and as you can see from the presentation, Polyworks uh, really is the most uh, full-blown um, and capable inspection system. And then once you get to uh, the Creaform VX Inspect, we're really looking at someone who has a Creaform scanner and is going to be using that, where the Geomagic Control X might be more for the um, people with multiple types of data collection systems. So um, hopefully that helps, and uh, let's see if there are any questions. Thank you, JD. Okay, um, we do have a couple questions here. So the first one is, Polyworks has been the industry standard inspection software in automotive for a long time now. With the cost only being a little bit more, what's the reason to consider the other two? Sure, so um, that's a good question. Cost is always, um, if it's not the first factor, it's going to be uh, an important factor. Um, but I think probably the biggest thing as we look at the chart is something like if you really want to put together a system that has uh, uh, reporting capabilities, a uh, very quick um, learning curve so you can ramp up on this software pretty, pretty quickly, uh, automation, flexibility, things like that, and you have multiple systems and manufacturing and 3D data collection systems in your house, in your organization, you're probably going to be leaning towards that Geomagic Control X. Um, and that's really a budget thing as well. If you have a Craveform scanner, um, you really need to be looking at VX Inspect. So uh, that's going to be a very powerful software um, that really runs 
parallels right next to uh, the PolyWorks inspector system. Great. I hope that answered that question. Um, we have a couple more here. Um, VX Inspect is a Creoform product. Does it work with off-brand scanners? And if so, what are the pros and cons of that type of setup? Great question. Um, I did not clarify that. Uh, Creoform VX Inspect, it does work. You can import other meshes into the software, but in general, we really say it's it's made for the Creoform scanning systems. It's not really made to plug and play another uh, system into it. Okay, great, thank you. Um, I see that there may be some more detailed questions. We'll touch base with you individually on those um, and get those answered for you soon. Um, we do have one last question here though. Um, you talked about Polyworks being automated. Is that the only software that can be automated? Very good question. Um, once we start talking about automation, there are two formats of automation that I really speak of. Um, one is a full integrated inline where you're talking to other systems. And the other kind of automation in the software is really internal. Can I replace a scan data and then I have it run the report automatically without walking through each step? Um, so in the different systems, and I apologize, Christy, was were they asking about a specific software or all of them? Um, they just asked if you only had mentioned that Polyworks could be automated. So they were just wanting right. to know, okay. is that just with Polyworks or with all of them? Okay, um, great. So each system does have some different capabilities. Um, the VX Inspect is really made to connect to Creoforms, what's called the QBAR product line, their uh, AQC or Automated Quality Control System. Um, it's not really made to touch an external inline system. Where Geomagic Control X does have an SDK that we can tap into, but by far Polyworks Inspector is going to be the one where we can actually write very robust code um, and have a pretty in-depth um, automated application. Great, thank you. Okay, well, that is all of our questions for today. If your question did not get answered, I have recorded it and one of our experts will be in touch with you in the next couple of days. Thank you all for joining us over lunch for the second webinar in the 3D Lunchbox series. Thank you, JD and Cade, for your expertise and presentations today. We look forward to seeing you next time for the third 3D Lunchbox webinar where we, will sh where we will showcase robotics, automated scanning for inline inspection. Some really cool stuff planned um, with the latest and greatest in automated quality control. As always, if you have additional questions or needs, you can call one of our experts at 765-482-9700 or you can email us at support at onlineresourcesinc.com. Thank you again and have a great afternoon.